No, we just got to. Uh, somehow we've got in this loot road. When you come back, see here. So you're going to swing around the loop, and then we have to get back onto Airport Drive. Yeah, yeah otherwise we're doing the same thing again, aren't we? I don't know. Oh, we're going on the M5, quick. Cut across. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Try it again. That was fun fishing that the other day, so. It'll be a backup plan. I'm just going to do an intro. So. Okay guys, I'm back at Botany today, but we're going to go and chase some bass. I'm here with Mark the Fencer. Say hello Mark. How you going guys? We heard or we looked up the fish dockings and we found a couple of ponds here full of fish. So we're going to give it a go. We just got to work out how to get in here. You know what they say, where there's a will, there's a dead person. Well our mission today is just to see if bass live in here, so. We can get crack a bite, we can always come run back to the car, get more wheels. And I've forgotten to take my shoes, so. I've got spare undies. You got spare undies. Well, just. Just gotta sort of look at if there's too many needles and things around. Oh, look at that. All you gotta do is just look for where someone else has opened the door up. Look at this. Hey? Oh, rabbit? What was that? No, a cat. It's here. Dude, oh, there's a cloud of them. Where'd that pussy cat go? Yesterday when we were fishing, you know where I caught that big bass? I found a Z-Man frog on the ground. So I might try that out. It's like a bit of a wasteland, isn't it? Hey, mate. What, carp or bass? Ooh, toads. So this has got a full fish ladder designed in it, look. Straight up, through, around. They can come in and out of here whenever they want. That's rank, that is. I can, I can smell. I look at the black oil. I guess it's rank. Yeah, I was thinking that. Is that a homeless thing? That's putrid, that is. Definitely put a toxic warning on that, that spot. Anyway, we've got to duck across this road. This is, this is the one we're, we're putting all our sort of eggs in one basket hopefully this pond's still got the bass in it and I can't see one not there's other ponds that we hey <laughs> yeah dead old mate tonight look at this garbage They'll love it, eh? Every time it rains, all this goes straight in. So these bass can't get out from the other side of the road looking at that grid. Oh no, they can, this big old there. So there'd be a few people living down there at time. Ooh. Yeah, it looks a deeper looking lake. Hmm. Sort of hoping for a, enough water depth to burn a jackal or something. Just knowing what these fish are like. 
ganz nah aus. Can't hear any frogs. Can't hear any frogs. It usually means there's a predator in the water. No swimming, no fishing. What? It's got smashed by what he thought was a cracker. So we know there's bass in here now. That's good. That's cool. Black cockatoos at the airport. White tails. Cracking birds, mate. Yeah, just give you a bit of an update guys, I think we'll leave here, but Mark had one good hook up, whether it was a carp or a bass, we don't know. And I've had three little taps with the jackal only. Three little thunk. They never committed, now whether, whether they were carp, I don't know. But we can't spend forever here, so we might have to leave and go chase some saltwater fish. Why did the fisherman cross the road? Yeah, well that was 15 minutes to get over that. But it comes to a point you just got to think like a 10 year old and go run! On a scale of 1 to 10, this is the most putrid water it's to scale. It just stinks. It's just rank. Yeah. It's filthy, man. When I did that canal on the other side, it was quite clean, but this is disgusting. Gee, I'm fishing polluted water in my day, but that stuff there, that's... That takes the cake, mate. That's just pure evil shit. Turtle can't live in here, bass can't live in here. It's just toxic algal blooms. It's making a track through the algae. Well, that's a bus, so let's go bread fishing. Ugh. Wow, a shop. Where are we? BC Urinal and Toilet Wash Dispenser. What a cool hardware. How does it work? I don't know. I like the old soldering irons. It's got all types of soldering irons there. That's, that's, a, that's, a, cook, cook, that, that's a cooker. Oh, is that? Really, yeah, remember, uh, like you said, the big stainless steel drums. I've got, definitely got to come back here. You got that cooker, right? And then up here, look at the stainless steel drums. Up there. And then look at that, stainless steel security. We got our own, it's your own prawn cooker. All yeah. you need is a gas bottle. You got that, you got them, and you got the cooker. Oh yeah. I'm coming back. I'm gonna come back when he's open. Someone else I gotta get. Look at all these mice traps and possum traps. Look at the rat trap. Yeah. Can crusher? That's a good bacon there. Right, oh, bacon cheese roll. So it might be hard access along here, but I bet you there'll be some fish in here. It doesn't stink or anything like the other side, does it? Oh, yeah, look at that. Game on. Now the tide's running out. That can't be right. It's still, I think it's 12 o'clock high. I think it's just the wind. Yeah. We got them on all sorts of plastics here. I've got a box of stuff. I haven't got many hooks, but I've got enough plastics. It's 
see down the other end you can walk the whole lot so yeah yeah it's easy walking I can see here like you can tell under that bridge there'll be a bite There was big mullet here with scales missing on them last time we were here. And when there wasn't much current, there was a lot of the stuff bite was out wide. And then where we found current, they were on the edge. Hey mate. Got a whack? Doesn't take long here. Just come. Yep. Oh, I had him. Had him right right on the edge. It's just teabagging. Yep. Hey, he's got one. Huh. Why'd that just come up? What's wrong with you? Oh, I'm on the board anyway. I might go back and get my bag. I didn't realise. Look, it's all manicured lawns through here, parked out. How good's this? Oh, he just didn't fight that fella. Hmm. Ow. Stab. Nice. Well, they're here. Look at this. <laughs> there's an eyeball. I know there's a half decent one eyed brim swimming around out there. Yeah, I got one little one, but I I know there's one half decent one eyed one because look, there's his eye. Wow. <laughs> I, I don't know, I've never done that before. You got two, have you? Yeah. What are you getting them on? The gulp. The gulp, yeah. I got I got mine on the Z Man, and I I just you can keep going even further. You can go through that fence, but I'm I start, I'm getting the better bites out wide. Like that. Ah, uh -huh. what happened then? That felt like a good fish. I think I'm going to go to a little Berkeley curl tail with a drop shot or. Just put on then. One of them. Yeah, see so that colour. Yep. That's the money, and stay on that for the rest of the day. Well, I'm going to go and, um, it's funny how a change of lures just makes it. I'm going to go do that bridge. Yeah, I don't know if you want to park the car on the road road, just in case we're a while. Yeah, I know, that's what I was saying. It's just, I, I actually have smaller worm hooks if you want, but you're better off grabbing the drop shot hook out of my box. Shadow. I'd say they would be. Yeah, oh, that was a very big fish. And it must have just bricked me straight onto something down there. Mark just got another little one, I just lost one. Are you ready to see what happens? The tide should be running out now, so I don't know if that's the run starting or... Hey mate? Yeah, yeah, busted up. It happened that quick, I couldn't... Uh, just couldn't get a handle on him. It's 
What's that? There's Brim just swimming around that pipe there. There, yeah, watch this. Why didn't they go it? The three, four Brim just swimming around here. They didn't want to touch that. Oh, you see that? <laughs> they wanted it. <laughs> Did you see that? I just lifted it up to the water, it nearly come out, and he just smashed it. <laughs> hey? Yeah. I seen him, I dropped it down and thought, oh, they don't want that. See you, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna walk down this way. I actually, I don't know if we can, can we? It's a fence. Might have to move. Oh, millions of little ones, I don't know. Oh, yep, there's one. That's a better fish. Ah! Oh! How come I keep missing the good fish? That's so cool. Let me put them on there. The more than point, I wonder if it's a good luck thing. Don't have really much to, places to go here. So. on the other side yeah that's the guy little tiny ones everywhere wow <laughs> you're kidding I might even want to drop before just show mark that that's the smallest trevally I've ever seen come here mate I wonder if you got any big friends Hey, hey, hey. Beautiful, isn't he? Little Travella. Hey, Mark. GT. <laughs> Little baby Trevor. Look at, look at the black fin on it. It's a crazy little fish. I'm going over the other side and across the bridge. And they're saying no fishing, but at the same time, there's a guy sleeping under the bridge. Oi. Okay, hey, mate, how are you? Yeah. Oh, little ones? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure there's some good ones in here. Go nuts on this side. Hi. Got a little. I got a little Travali just then. Why did you do it for fun? Yeah. I thought we'd be able to walk on here. Baby brim country, man. There's got to be good ones in here. Don't think the lock worked. Someone's stuff. Did you 
she gets around. Is that the same lady we're talking to on the other side? I'm still lost when I come out here with Roger. I remember getting a drink at that servo coming home. Some, oh, yeah, there's brim swimming amongst them too. I just seen one there. They're everywhere. I think the problem is that this water's much. Yeah, geez, it's a big herring, eh? Yeah. This water's so much clearer. I'm, I can see the bigger brim coming across, and the little ones come out and wh whack them. That's a big herring. That's a dew bait, mate. So we've got a little trevally, a little a big herring. And I keep moving up. All along here, right along this edge. Non-stop little guys. I have seen some bigger fish, like this two just followed him in. It's just getting to him. Every cast. Ah, oh, come on guys, there's got to be some big ones in here. Might be just a seasonal thing. Battery's going flat. And I just threw in left, starting to get a bit bigger. But there's there's hundreds and hundreds of these size brim in here. I think I've got another battery in the car. Oh, I just dropped one. Just dropped one. And then a little tailor comes in. The battery's flat, so I'm just turning it on and off. I haven't moved. He's a nice brim. Yep. I just got four in a row myself. Yeah, yeah, you'll get a double here. Watch this. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at them. Oh, they were bigger than your one. I've got to now. Yeah, I've got to change my battery. Bring him up. They were much bigger. Yeah, They were the ones. I've got to change my battery. Yeah, 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 they are too. Oh, missed him. Oh, I just got four in a row just over there, but they were all like, the biggest was about that size. Oh, I'm going to change batteries because we've got a hot bite happening. Oh, good, that one's on 3%. Hey, we've got a full battery. Laughing. Right, these might not be big fish, but they are like piranha. We were catching one after the other, after the other. Mark just had a nice little eagle on, but two better fish were just swimming around trying to take the rubber off that fish's out of that fish. I'll show you what we're doing. Oops, come in. Just have a small running ball sinker, tiny drop shot hook, and a little Berkeley curl tail. Under a hidden weight, which I've dyed orange and it's drawing fish just as good as the drop shot but not hooking them. I just sat there. I just sat there and, and left that just sitting on the concrete, just shaking it. I just watched about five, six of these come up. Ow! It stabbed me, polluted water. Get in there. Don't do that to me, buddy. I wonder I was dropping those fish. That was an, an old fine drop shot hook, so that's that's why it snapped. They just like little grub tails down here. Score! Look at that. That's how you were dropping your stuff, guys. Oh, it's just gotta go for it. 
through those little ones to get a good good hit. I cast right out there and caught him near. But there's like four or five of these guys, four or five smaller, and then one or two that are half decent. We got frustrating the amount of small fish. I reckon I must have at least oh, over 20 undersized brim. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I found I started in the end casting the cross, winding the little back, dropping on the concrete, and watching what followed. And I was getting like from two inches to four to six to a half decent one. And all the little in-between ones that come up and grab it, you know? I don't know what school I had over here. That school that they, you they had, they were all... Disappear. Hey? They wouldn't go, they were eating the lure until there was nothing left of them. Yeah, this one. This doesn't stop. need to fix a big brim so this I won't be coming back here for a while but it's still pretty cool anyway still getting them they're not as prolific as before but I'm over it I reckon let's go I'm gonna just, I'm gonna fish my way out but just keep hopping past you huh so I mean I'm just <laughs> hey mark Spitting the dummy. What's up? Mm. Pull up the server. Just gotta remember where you are when you get off the water, make sure you wash those hands. It's not even with all that rain, it looks it still looks pretty good on the run out. I reckon they'll be perchy. Oh no, that looks disgusting. That's the run in, yeah, see the colour change? Look at all the people swimming in that. Thought I was going to catch a heap of chunks like this today and uh, didn't happen. <laughs>